It has been nearly a decade since the terrorist attacks of 9-11, and now a Muslim man shot in a resulting hate crime is calling for forgiveness for his attacker. As KHOU 11 News reporter Brad Woodard explains, that call comes less than a month before his attacker faces execution. It was a day that would forever change a nation's psyche, setting events in motion that 10 days later would forever change Raiz Bouyan's life. What does the date September 21st mean to you? That's, a one of my, uh, that's my second birthday. It's your second birthday? Second birthday. Why is that? Uh, I got my life back. Which almost meant losing it. Bouyan was one of the first hate crime victims in the wake of 9-11. Open the register, I'm going to blow your down. Shot in the face while working at a Dallas convenience store. But then he asked me, where are you from? And I said, excuse me. As soon as I spoke, I feel the sensation of a million bees stinging my face and then heard an explosion. He was white supremacist Mark Stroman, set to be executed next month for killing two other men in similar incidents. Now, a stunning and some would say inspirational turn of events. Bouyan, who lost vision in his right eye because of the attack, has grown to see things in a different light. I forgave Mark Stroman many years ago. In fact, I never hated him. I never hated America for what happened to me either. He, as well as others in the Muslim community and beyond, Islam uh, calls us to forgiveness and compassion, are now pushing to have Stroman's death sentence commuted to life without parole. What is the bigger message here? The bigger message is here, uh, the, this is all about passion, forgiveness, and healing. As the 10th anniversary of 9-11 approaches, he says, it is a wake-up call for the conscience of a nation. Brad Woodard, KHOU, 11 News.